a Hickok 45 here. Been getting some requests to do a close-up on some of the rifles. We're bad about not doing close-ups with some of uh, your favorite rifles and my favorite rifles. You recognize this one? You should know what this is if you've been around long on the Hickok 45 channel. This is a big old 4570 Buffalo round, military round from the 1800s. And uh, I'm shoving them into this Browning 1886 model. And I had it uh, loaded partially. So it uh, has 9 or 10 in it. This is the 1886 model Winchester is uh, what it's called and uh, you know the Winchester uh, 1886 designed by John Browning and uh, this is a remake of it made by Browning appropriate huh shoots the big old 4570 round again I have videos on this gun so I'm not going to reiterate everything but it's a big bore lever gun considered uh, the most beautiful and one of the strongest lever guns ever made because it has the same type action as the 1892 has except this came first and uh, just a beautiful gun shoots a really big cartridge and we're going to take a few shots with it shooting the 4570 government loads you can see there on the on the barrel very very popular round was the military round adopted back in 1873 in the trap door Springfield and then later chambered in this baby so let's cock the hammer now I'm doing some really uh, difficult shooting again at long range and I'm not sure this 4570 will go through those cans but we'll try well what do you know Went right through that thing see if I can put a hole in the bottom of it Boom. hmm just don't make cans like they used to I see a soda can. Woo! Wow. A little too close to be shooting those things. You get a shower whether you want it or not. <laughs> I think that one's empty by the tree stump. Oh, no he wasn't. <laughs> now we have it on the gun barrel. That's okay. Sweet. Let's put one in Mr. Pumpkin, just to make sure he knows we care about him. Yeah. Let's shoot one from the hip. I think I can hit him from the hip. <laughs> this is a nice uh, gun. It cycles well. These are actually flat-nosed bullets, and uh, they still cycle pretty well. Ooh. Let's try another can here. Yeah, I'm so impressed going through those 10 cans. Huh, 405 grains of lead. Pretty interesting. See if I can shoot the stem off that rascal. Woo! Even went through a pumpkin stem. Pretty nice, huh? She's empty now. We'll put a couple more in there. Take a couple more shots with it. So, big heavy bolt. Really nice rifle seen it before I want to give you another look at it where we're not focusing on trying to hit something across the hillside just kind of admiring the beauty of this rifle and okay, as kind of a tribute to John Browning and you know, he designed this action Winchester purchased it from him and uh, just just a really sweet and strong action and these are big old re these are hand loads I load these 405 grain uh, uh, bullets inside these cases. Originally these were loaded with about 70 grains of black powder and I load some of those as well but th with these I have modern powder. Okay. Big old round, see the 4570 on there. I load it and you see the Starline brass generally. I get good consistency with that brass so that's what I usually use. And notice this gun too if you will, uh, not to get off topic as if I ever worry about that but I've had this gun for 21 years I guess 22 years no actually it was 87 so it's you know 23 years and you don't see a lot of scratches on it do you see nice pretty gun all that bluing and everything I don't worry about getting a little scratch you know character mar in the wood that sort of thing 
but uh, I like to keep them uh, lubricated and oiled up, take good care of them, not bang them around anymore than I have to. But if I do bang one around a little bit, I don't worry about it. Now, some of you folks that see me sling uh, Glocks around on a shooting table are a little worried about the way I treat my firearms, but uh, I know what they'll take and what they won't. This is a beautiful gun. I've had it that long, been shooting it that long. So, uh, and this is one of my very favorite guns. You can probably figure that out. <laughs> so that's quite a lot of firepower when you think about it uh, 9 or 10 45 70 rounds that you can uh, sling out at that rate so beautiful gun just had to give you another look at it and it doesn't take much for me to uh, to get it out and look at it and uh, I could do a close-up on this gun every uh, weekend if uh, <laughs> if, if I uh, felt the need to beautiful gun fun to shoot and fun to hold it's just one of those uh, guns that has the the high Fondle factor, f fondle factor, as we say, uh, we shooters. Uh, if you're a shooter, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not a shooter, you're probably not watching this video, right? So anyway, the Winchester 1886. This is the Browning remake of it that they uh, they did in uh, 1986, kind of the centennial version of it, and just a gorgeous gun, action like butter. And if there's a gun that's more fun to shoot and uh, and hold and uh, work with and clean I, I don't know about it so thought you might enjoy seeing that thing today on this pretty fall afternoon life is exceptionally good